Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from salads, sandwiches, and chafing dish recipes of 1916, we're gonna be making the Carmen sandwich. No idea why it's named that, and uh, its assembly is unique. We'll kick things off by cutting the crust off of bread, then buttering our bread. Onto one piece of bread, we put a slice of ham. We top that with the other slice of bread, buttered side up. And this is where it gets weird. Now we're gonna spread on top of this, cream cheese. I never had too much dairy back in 1916. Now we put on thinly sliced tomatoes. I almost forgot, I was supposed to put mayonnaise on the ham. Now mayonnaise on the tomatoes. And top that with chopped walnuts, <laughs> of course. Okay, let's give this Carmen sandwich a go. That solo slice of ham is not big, and it did say slice of boiled ham, so maybe the ham's supposed to be a little bit thicker. But even then, mayonnaise, butter, cream cheese, mayonnaise. <laughs> it is pretty rich. I'm going to plus it up with something that they suggested as a garnish and we'll see if it helps it out. I'm going to add some green onion. Yep. Okay, let's give this Carmen sandwich plus up with a little green onion. A go. That actually is a nice compliment to everything in here. What this book from 1916 lacked in common sense and sandwich building, it made up for with a nice uh, plus up of green onions. Look, I know, I know that that is no way to build a sandwich, but I follow the recipes as written and then I add stuff to plus it up if they have potential. So I gotta make it like that. Um, the original Carmen sandwich, not entirely sure why it's called a Carmen sandwich, um, but it wasn't bad tasting. It was just super rich with all the mayonnaise, the cream cheese, the butter. Um, I'll give it a five and a half because it was pretty tasty. Uh, plus up with the green onion, that's a six. This is a, that was a nice little touch there. I really like that. I am gonna finish that. I don't know if I'll finish it all in one go, but you know, maybe space it out a little bit because it's so rich, but yeah, it's tasty. I don't think I'd ever make this again, but yeah, I'll eat it, why not? <laughs> all right, see you tomorrow. Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from salads, 